I've attempted the Russian squat program once before around about five years ago and it is a brutal program to say the least but with the current situation going on right now with all of us staying in our homes and being isolated I've been fortunate enough to be given some gym equipment from Cycling Australia as well as the South Australian Institute of Sport so that I can continue my training and make some gains over this time and I figured this is a really good opportunity for myself to challenge myself mentally as well as physically by undertaking the Russian squat program again. Uh, however, I don't have squat racks, so I'm going to adapt this training program and methodology towards deadlift, which is a weakness of mine comparatively to my squat. And the purpose of me making this video is one, to give myself something to do during this time, to also challenge myself, but also I want to document the journey so I can give you my experiences and how I felt during the whole entire process of this experiment. Before I start to dive further into what the Russian squat program is for those that are unaware of what it is, I need to get a baseline wonder at max. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head into the gym, into the garage right now and test out my wonder at max for the deadlift. focus on the, the deadlift as if it's more of a clean style technique so it's transferable to weightlifting. I'm not going to use uh, a belt as the whole purpose of this is for me to strengthen my back as I'm a very firm believer of you can't fire a cannon from a rowboat which I think is very very specific to cycling is that we spend so much time working on our legs and our power development of our, our quads that the core and the trunk can let you down at times hence the reason why I think a lot of cyclists can have some back issues that the core itself isn't strong enough to support the power that the legs can generate. So the purpose of this is to do exactly that, is to try and build a bulletproof back by essentially smashing it with a lot of volume from deadlift. And as for today's baseline numbers, my personal best ever deadlift is 215 kilos, which is the only time I've ever maxed out the deadlift. So if I could pull something within the 90% range of that today, I feel like I'd be quite happy with that as a good baseline starting point. So without much more than that, let's get stuck into it and see what I can do. squat program is a six week training program where training loads are worked off a percentage of your one rep max. The program is split into two three week blocks consisting of three training sessions a week for a total of 18 sessions all up. The first block works on volume based off 80% of your one rep max with six sets of two reps at 80% remaining as a constant throughout the entire six week training block. Initially starting at six sets of two reps, every other session increases by one rep until you end up at six sets of six, completing the first three week training block. The second block sees a decrease in the overall load but an increase in the weight and intensity. Starting the three week block with five sets of five reps at 
where every other session you drop one set and one rep, but increase your load by 5% until you work up to a set of two sets of two at 100% of your max before testing on the 18th session at 105% for a new one rep max. After now having completed my baseline one rep max test, we can now take some time and look at the spreadsheet that I've put together to show the loads and the values that I'll need to achieve and hit throughout the course of this six week program. So as you can see by looking at the graph, during the first three weeks, the load maintains at 80% with the volume gradually increasing until week three. Before starting the final three week block, we can see that the intensity gradually increases until eventually achieving a new one rep max while the total session volume decreases during that period. So now if we enter in my one rep max from the other day at 205 kilos, which I'm really happy with how that session went, uh, 205 kilos represent 95% of my all time one rep max. So I think that gives me a really good starting point and baseline to work towards as by the end of this six week period, I should be achieving a new one rep max if everything goes to plan and I stay on top of my recovery and manage my body well and manage my outside training stimulus, then I think this program will work really well. So as you can see, as we change the load to 205 kilos, it then changes all the corresponding data points to what I need to lift over the six week period. So for 80%, that would be 164 kilos. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to round up everything to the nearest five kilo, as it's just an easy way to load the bar up while training. And we can see that during that first three week period, everything I will lift will be 165 kilos rounding up and then starting the second block at 85% and then gradually increasing each session as we can see through here. With all that information and now knowing what I need to do over the next six weeks, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this project on Monday. I'm excited to see where I will end up and how this is gonna manifest over the coming six weeks. Having had some prior experience with doing this four squat, I do know that it is quite a rough training program and can be a bit brutal on the body. But as long as I stay on top of my recovery and manage my external training loads outside of the gym, I think that I'll come out of this program quite strong and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes ahead. Rep after rep after rep is the theme of the first three weeks. It can seem a bit monotonous at times, loading the same weight onto the bar and just smashing out reps. But it's all about putting in the base work, building the foundations and conditioning the body to handle the heavy training load required in the last three week block. It's all about the grind and requires a lot of hard work. Which I think that being an athlete, it is ingrained in us to work hard as we have developed this work ethic over many years of training to get the most out of our bodies by pushing them to the limits every training session. We have this feeling of always needing to do more and will do more. Much was my attitude the same prior to starting the Russian squat program. You could say that I was a bit stubborn in my willingness to try and keep my training as normal as possible. I soon realized that this was not going to be the case. With rep upon rep and a ton of volume, one that my body wasn't used to, I started to feel sluggish and beat up. My body wasn't moving the way that it usually does. Weights that shouldn't be heavy felt heavy, with the sheer volume of deadlifts taking a beating on my central nervous system. Weightlifting was making the deadlifts harder, and the deadlifts were making the weightlifting difficult. A training program is only a guideline and should be adaptable, and I quickly realized that I need to adapt my training and my mindset or my body faced an imminent breakdown, and this project will be over before the halfway point. Once I made this change, things started to look positive. I'm now at the halfway point of this experiment and once I'd made that adjustment to the initial training, realizing that what I was doing had this push-pull effect on one another and had an accumulative load on the body, I feel like I've actually finished this first three-week block in a really good position. My body feels quite strong. I don't have any niggles whatsoever and I think that I've set myself up really well for this next coming three weeks as I know that this is the point where things really start to ramp up as those weights and percentages start to increase and push towards 100%, I know that I need to come into each key session and attack it with intensity and focus to get the most out of myself as this is the really important point as my goal from here on out is that I wanna lift something quite big 
at the end of this and push for a really big PB. I feel good, I feel motivated, and I'm really keen to see what I can do at the end of this three weeks.
stoked right now with how everything's gone. I feel really good. That was my last big session. All the work's now done. I've got one more lighter session on Wednesday and then we max out on Friday. I'm really, really keen to see how this goes. I feel like I'm in a really good spot. Today moved, the weights moved way better than I thought they would and I feel I feel really strong, the body feels good, feels healthy, everything feels like it's coming together, so I'm really excited to see how Friday goes and what I can do, because I'm aiming for something quite big. As much as this program is physically challenging, it's also about your mental game. Coming into each session focused and switched on to attack every rep with intent is just as crucial. One moment of complacency or lapse in effort can increase your chances and likelihood of getting injured, and I wasn't going to let that happen. Every training session is leading you closer to the prospect of a new max. Day by day you're improving, adapting, and being a better version of yourself than the previous session. By the end of the program, you are physically prepared, but now it's a mental game. Having the belief that you can go after heavy weights and test your physical ability to see what your body is actually capable of, there are no limitations. You need to be able to get to that place within yourself to get the most out of your body, whether that's music that hypes you up or brings you to another state of mind, or teammates that cheer and scream with words of encouragement. Whatever that may be for you, just get there. Like a lion anticipating the kill is how I approach the weights. Pacing, eyeing off the target, psyching myself up, approach the bar getting ready to strike. There's a moment of calm, then attack. Now that all the training is done and I've completed the Russian squat program, it's time I give you my feedback and assessment of the program itself and how things played out over the last six weeks. And starting off with the program itself, did it work? Absolutely it did. Am I happy with the results? Yes and no. I'm really happy with achieving PBs and getting a 4% improvement on my lifetime personal best, so that in itself shows that the program worked. However, from day one, the goal weight that I had in mind was 230 kilos, which would equal my squat PB. And on the day, I did feel good for 230. It was the weight I had in mind. It was what I was targeting. I planned all my attempts to be able to hit 230. And watching back the video, I definitely was good for it. My back didn't let me down at all. It held form, it held its shape. It was purely just my legs just gave out and didn't have enough strength. So. I think that from not having actually squatted in the last eight weeks may be the reason why I potentially missed the lift, but I do know that I am capable of it and I know that I have what it takes to be able to do that in the near future, which I'll be attempting probably in a couple of weeks. 
As for the program itself, it is a trialed and tested program, so I knew that it would work from day one. It was just about me trusting in the training and manage my body and my recovery well. I knew that I would be able to achieve what I would set out to do from day one. And also because I don't necessarily deadlift all that often, I knew that if I was to train consistently within my training program, I knew that that in itself would lead me towards achieving a personal best as it's not something that I do very often within my training. So the fact that the last six weeks have been solely dedicated to deadlift, I knew that I would improve at the end of it. It was more of a case of how much would that be. And in the end, it turned out to be a 4% improvement on my lifetime personal best. And as the program calls for a 5% improvement on baseline one rep max, and my baseline number was 205, I ended up going to 223. So the program definitely did work, which I'm really happy with, but again, there is a part of me that knows I am good for 230 and I will be trying to get it in the next few weeks. So who is this program for and would I recommend it? And again, my answer to that would be it's circumstantial. If you're an athlete that uses gym to supplement or enhance your sport, say you're a cyclist or a football player or a hockey player, I don't think this program is for you as it is very hard and with the accumulation of training load and fatigue from your actual sport, I don't think this program would necessarily work. It would then become probably a little bit too much for the body and potentially increase your risk of injury, which is not what the aim is of any training program. If you are a strength athlete that does require a lot of strength in your sport, like a track sprint cyclist, or maybe a discus thrower, or anything that does require a lot of strength, the rugby player as well, I think the program could potentially work for you, but maybe needs to be adapted to potentially two sessions a week, which I think that would work out well. So instead of doing it over six weeks, you would do it over nine weeks for still 18 sessions all up, where one session would be lighter and the second session would be heavier during the week. I think that could potentially work, which then that may be more of a manageable training load. But again, it would depend on your sport and the demands. But then again, at the same time, a training program is only a, a guideline and always should be adaptable and can be adapted to any athlete and any need. However, if you're solely a strength-based athlete, whether that's strongman, crossfitter, powerlifter, weightlifter, I do think give this program a try. It has been proven to work. I've shown that it worked for me for deadlifting. I'm sure it would work for squat and any other compound movement. Again, always be mindful of adapting a program to suit your needs, but sometimes a change in stimulus and training load to the body is good to kind of keep it guessing and keep it adapting and keep things moving forward. So all in all, I'm very happy with how the last six weeks have played out. I feel like I'm in a really good spot. I do feel strong. I know that I am good for 230 and more, which I'm gonna continue training right now to see if I can push beyond that and achieve those weights that I wanna hit and see what I'm actually capable of doing. I am looking forward to things going back to normal and getting back into my usual routine of training and getting back into squatting, which I've missed doing massively as that's kind of, I guess, what I'm known for as being decent at doing in the gym. And I'm also curious to see how this newfound strength transfers to the bike and how it has affected me on there in terms of my power production and just my body in general. So that pretty much wraps up everything. If you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate you massively. I do know it is pushing 25 minutes, so it is quite a long one. But again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you or message me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm always happy to reach out and give some feedback as that is something I do enjoy doing and passing on my experiences and yeah, thanks for watching.